We start with breaking news, a verdict in the Nicole Montalvo murder trial. After less than two hours of deliberations, the jury decided the estranged husband and father-in-law of Nicole Montalvo are guilty of murdering and dismembering her body. We brought this to you live on News 6 at 6. Let's get right to News 6's Lauren Cervantes outside the Osceola County Courthouse in Kissimmee. And Lauren, I understand Montalvo's family just spoke out. They just spoke, especially after an hour and a half, less than an hour and a half of deliberation from the jury before finding both Christopher Otero Rivera and Angel Rivera guilty of all charges. Now, the charges include guilty of second degree murder, guilty of abuse of a dead human body, and guilty of tampering with physical evidence. Nicole Montalvo's family became visibly emotional when the verdict was read in the courtroom. Elaine, Nicole's mother, had testified as a witness for the prosecution in the trial. Now, the family spoke with us as they walked out of the courthouse. Nicole Montalvo's brothers thanked Florida law enforcement for their support and wanted to thank the courts for their swift action of justice. Her brother also thanking the community for their support during this difficult time. He also took a moment to address domestic violence, adding that the family will be an advocate on the issue. Now, the family also saying out here today that they are thankful for the Osceola County Sheriff's Office, specifically mentioning Detective Cole Miller, who is also a witness in the case, calling him a member of their family at this stage. Nicole's brother ended by saying that they promised they'd help get justice for her. Take a listen. Justice was served today. Our sister, my sister, Stevie, our... Nicole is still gone. A son has still lost his mother. And so we still don't have her. Now, Nicole's brothers were very emotional as they said that they also made a promise to her to continue to help raising her son, Elijah. For now in Osceola County, I'm Lauren Cervantes, Getting Results News 6.